Hey guys, another day, another me. It's Tuesday, sipping on my tea, okay? I posted a new podcast yesterday, so check it out. I had to promote my SoundCloud on my Snapchat and my IG stories, so feeling like a true bro. Just really immersing myself in the culture. If you guys have any tips and tricks, let me know to all the SoundCloud bros out there, but I'm feeling good. So that's super exciting. I'm excited to like start posting regular, regularly again and um yeah if you like you like let me know this video is sponsored by this vibrator this is by sis talk sis me sis talk like sis available on amazon i will link it down below but i wanted to share this with you guys i feel like this was very on brand it comes with this little like carrying couch on the go going to someone's house i don't know but it looks like this so basically um you control the speeds like here Oh, sis. So you can like insert it and it can hit that spot or you could just like use it just on your clitoris. It depends on your preference, but it is kind of like shaped to be sort of also a Kegel thing. It um, strengthens those muscles. Edible grade silicone. So that's interesting and it's rechargeable. It does come with a charger, but I really like this because it's super cute and pink and small and on the go and I like how it's so small, but you can still like put it in you, but you could also use it just on your clitoris. like. We love it all in one, sis. A couple other ones. This is the Mr. Devil. <laughs> this is like so funny. And this came super discreetly, um, which I know, you know, if you still live with your parents or you live with roommates or you, whatever, you just don't want people to know like, hey, I'm getting a vibrator. Um, it's super discreet. So what makes this super cool though is that it actually can connect to an app. So if you have a BF, a GF, a special someone that can't be with you, or maybe they're across the room, I don't know, but they can control this on the app, which I haven't tried this out, <laughs> but it is a feature. Um, they can control it on the app and you can have this part and, uh, you know, that part. <laughs> so I think that's super unique. I've never heard of a sex toy that can connect to your phone and it's for um android and ios like isn't that so innovative i love 2018 and i love technology like on a date or something but then also again if you're like long distance or you're not with each other and you want to like get it on so again i will link this down below but um i just love talking about this so let me know if you have any like i mean you can hit up my tumblr i'm like <laughs> okay let me know if you have any like sex vibrator personal you know things like that because i know it's like sometimes you don't always feel comfortable talking about it with your friends or like you don't have someone that you can ask that's why i like to be here for you guys i love talking about it like in life just like irl but then also just i want to be that person that you know i don't know i just think it's important to talk about these things i didn't even know that females girls could masturbate because i was never told that and then i think I like, I literally think I learned from like Tumblr that like that was a thing and it wasn't like some like gross, like weird thing. Like they never talked about it in school. They would always, they would talk about like guys doing it, but they wouldn't talk about girls doing it. And I just think that whole part of it is like very not, it's very like taboo still and just like, I don't know, looked down upon in a lot of ways by a lot of people. Um, so I'm not saying that I'm like, oh my God, my vlog channel Stella's Life is the sex ed program. <laughs> But I do like to try to open up the conversation and, you know, just make it, like, normalize it. It's like, come on. I'm so ready for my vlog camera to be here. Like, I'm so excited. And I'm kind of, like, glad this excitement is sort of, like, <laughs> building up. Because I just, I don't know. I, I'm not posting on my main channel right now because of that. Because I'm like, oh, I don't really want to, like, film a sit-down thing, whatever. Okay, I'm going to look through my comments. Um, but if you have any questions, hit up my Tumblr askstellaray.tumblr.com and also follow me on IG. I feel like I don't promote my IG enough. Um, so stella.ray on IG. A lot of people, I follow them for their stories and I have great IG stories. So if you want a little inspo throughout your day, a little LOL, check it out. Wow, I love my vlog channel community because it's all like pretty much OGs and y'all are like, oh my God, I can't wait for your vlog camera. I'm so excited for you. It's like, thank you. Like, bitch, me too. Erica says, this is random. This is a, oh, this is a random thought, but I miss the Gucci gang rock. Dude, TB fucking T, like, damn. Time goes by so fast, like, literally. It's like, 
Next week is June. I often feel as though you're the older sister I always wanted. I love how you make us feel as though you're just our friend rather than an entitled stuck up YouTuber. <laughs> I hate that shit. Dude, I hate that shit because I know what that is like, you know, to like, I just hate being around that energy. It's like, fuck off. Especially being in a place where there's so many creators. Um, dude, it's so true that some people are so, like, feel so entitled and are so, like, bitchy and I don't know. I'm here for the lols. I'm here to have fun. I'm here to inspire a bitch to purchase a vibrator. Sometimes I, like, reply to your guys' comments and I'm like, this isn't really, like, appropriate. Like, I hope this person gets it. Like, this person says, my favorite thing about you is how relaxed you are, yet still spiritual. People are too heavy, you make it practical, which, best fucking compliment I could ever get. But I literally just replied. And I said, OMG, yes, can't stand an unrealistic ass bitch SMFH. <laughs> so it's like, I hope they get it. Because imagine you're like, you're like someone who doesn't get it. And I say that, like, that's offensive. <laughs> or like, sometimes I'll be replying to comments and I'm like, yes, bitch. And I hope it's like, okay, if you're watching my videos, you probably get it. Because I kind of talk like that in my videos, but like, it's so fucking fun. Christopher says, some wise advice. I've been excluded by two-faced people before too. They act nice to your face, but always make sure to not include you in things. Some passive aggressive rejection, they're the worst. Yeah, that's like, fuck that. It's like, if you, someone could be nice to your face saying nice things to you, but if you don't feel good around them, trust them. Thank you for A, serving some piping hot tea because it is my favorite beverage, and B, being a true inspiration who I look up to every damn day. Someone says, I think you're a billion times more gorgeous without any makeup. Um, and I bet you're thinking that I'm about to say like, I don't wear makeup for you. But <laughs> I genuinely think that I look better without makeup too. The only thing is like, like, I don't know, just my skin, which I mean, I obviously still don't wear makeup when I'm like, if I have acne or whatever, this angle like really does me justice. Like it's like clear skin but then it's like oh. but i really genuinely feel like just with a nice lash extension if i'm like a little tan and like my eyebrows snatched i'm like i like how i look better i mean like obviously you still love makeup still gonna wear makeup but even when i do wear makeup recently i've just been doing a lot more natural like i've been doing like only concealer and like liquid highlight maybe a brow pencil and like like a cream contour. I don't know, like it's just been a lot more chill. I'm just like, ugh. Someone says your vlogs are somehow even better than ever. That's like so nice. <laughs> Cause I feel like the quality is like, <laughs> I'm here for the content. We're not here for the production. I can't stand a high production, boring ass bitch. You know? It's like, wow, you're really investing all this time and money into equipment and like having someone edit your videos for you and like, yeah, this is my bro, my intern. He lives with me. He films my videos. <laughs> and like, I still don't want to watch. <laughs> so many people that are like famous, it's like I don't get it. Like, someone who I get it, someone who gets it, Cody Ko. Like, I just love watching his videos because like he gets it. He's like, why are these people, like they're not funny. Like who's finding these people funny? You know what I mean? I'll have to say for now, but wait, maybe I'll like look at Tumblr. Okay, no, I want to save this for like a podcast. Gang, 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 gang. Love y'all.